Man, I turned my microphone on. How y'all doing, buddy Isaac here? Whew, man, we just out. It's starting to get light. I don't know if I get out of here before dark, but I'm gonna try. We're down in here, they've been hearing something screaming over the hill here. Sounds, I mean, just a real high-pitched scream. We don't know if it's a screech owl or a Sasquatch or a big cat. Now, the, they've been reports of a big old cat around here, almost like a panther or something. And I'm just smart enough to come down in here by myself looking for it. Ah. Yep, yeah, pretty nice day today, about 40 degrees. Not too bad. This time tomorrow, we're supposed to be uh, getting like a partial blizzard, and they're expecting a big old rain tomorrow, or not a rain, a big snow tomorrow. I mean, they talk like this could be a pretty good, pretty big winter storm. So, I went and got my kerosene and my alka seltzer and stuff like that. You know, I'm ready for it. And uh, we got plenty of we got plenty of food to eat. Oh, let me show you. I found this while ago. I was walking up the creek there. So that's coming up the hill. This almost looks like a piece of coral, okay? Now I told y'all we was gonna start doing a lot of these outdoor, like, you know, videos, like nature videos. And so anyway, I pick this up. If you look at it right here, I mean, you can see, it, it's it's actually a pretty neat little rock. It's a lot of crystal inside of it. But the bottom part of it almost looks like, make it look like a big piece of coral. And uh, that tells me that there was probably coral in this area, like so many, hundreds of millions of years ago but nah, i don't know that for sure i've just been packing it around it's pretty neat right there too. you know what that is those right there they're shaped like little triangles back in there it is they call those dog tooth stalactites i think that's what it's called stalagmites or stalactites or something but anyway and uh, a friend of mine told me that anyway I'm I'm just uh I, I'm into a lot of uh semi precious gem hunting like you know agates and jasper stuff like that. I hunt for a lot of stuff like that. And uh I don't have much luck at it but you know I look for it. I'll pick that up in a minute. You know what I'll do? I'll forget that and I'll have to come all the way down here and get it. It's cold on my hand. Oh man. Yeah. Just a tad under the weather today. Sinuses, sinuses is uh, really wreak havoc on me this time of year. Uh, I ain't gonna go on up through there because like I said, it's almost dark. Y'all see where that sun is? Hang on, wait for it, where's it at? Well anyway, you can see it because it'll glare the camera. But anyway, <laughs> oh man. So according to that sun, we are right about the air and 16 minutes away from sunlight being gone, okay? So, I'm going to head on back toward the house here in a minute. Try to get back up out of here. I got a long way to go to get out of here, man. I've already come halfway up the mountain. I had to stop take a break. And I said, this would be a good place to put a video. Now, if you wonder how in the world do you pack the tripod and a camera around all of well, I got a little case. Tripod folds up about this big when I get all folded up. And the camera goes right down in it and I just throw it over my shoulder. I, I like to take it with me just about everywhere I go. But I really ain't seeing a, a whole lot of sign or anything. Let's walk just a little bit. Got my batteries on. That'll be bad. There was something up here a while ago. But there was something that sparked my interest here a while ago. With I thought I found that right there. I might not want to walk under that. That looks just a little bit dangerous. But I thought I seen like a little cave, a little hole in the ground. I don't know if I want to be going around that much. Let's see. I don't really. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it short today a little bit because my camera looks like it's going dead. But it looked like that up there. That in there. 
but there's a hole in the ground and pretty good size little hole in the ground and uh, I ain't gonna go up in there messing with it today we may come back and do a video some other time I ain't got much battery left so I'm gonna have to go home and charge this thing but anyway that's thought I wanted to show you all my rocks it looks pretty neat I like it I'll probably take that home and I'm wanting to make a I'm wanting to make just an aquarium just have rocks in it like a waterfall pouring over almost losing my voice oh man I gotta go to work and get my young ones here after after a while they they're both working and hopefully we'll uh can avoid a lot of the snow I mean it's little snow's okay but I don't want no big blazers you know what I'm saying but anyway it's buddy Isaac y'all take care of yourself this weekend stay warm stay safe and I'm out